the time for Imam al-Mahdi to appear. So, so the minor signs are completed and the time for the major signs has started and we do understand the person who is going to be Imam al-Mahdi has been identified but the time for his bayah has yet to come. When Imam al-Mahdi takes bayah initially according to the narrations of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the Imam al-Mahdi would appear when he would be 40 years of age. When he would be 40 years of age, he would be recognized. But recognition does not mean bayah. The people start mixing two things. Coming in government or taking oath from the people is different from being recognized as a person, as a leader or as, as, a, as a personality. You can understand this from the life of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he was recognized when he announced prophethood after he was ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he was recognized by Khatija radiyallahu ta'ala anha. He was recognized by Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He was recognized soon after by Abu Bakr radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He was recognized by Aisha, he was, uh, sorry, he was recognized by Fatima and so on. Allah ta'ala anhumah. And so on and so forth and Umar and so on. Usman and all of the Sahaba as we know. Allah ta'ala anhumah. So he was recognized. He announced prophethood and he was recognized by a few people initially and he was 40 years of age at that time. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a state, make, made him a leader of a state, the state of Madina al Munawwara, then he was, he was around 53 years of age. So there is a difference between being recognized, being known, and, be, and, and taking oath from the people or, or sitting in the government. So similarly, Imam al-Mahdi is going to be a leader but he would be recognized when he would be 40, but he would take oath later on. So, my understanding, this there is hardly any narrations about what would be the age of Imam al-Mahdi when he takes oath. There are narrations about his recognition. His age would be 40 when he would be recognized, but there are hardly any narrations about the age when he would take oath. So my understanding is that we can map, map Imam al-Mahdi's life on the life of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam for a few reasons. Because Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said his name would be parallel to my name. Yuwaqi ismuhu ismi. Parallel to my name. Rhyming with my name. Similar to my name. Not exactly my name. So that's one thing. Second thing, Yuwaqi ismuhu ismu abihi ismu abihi. His father's name would be like the name of my father. So there are two like things, two similarities. And we know from narration that he would be 40 years of age. There's another similarity. So on and so forth, Imam al-Mahdi is going to be a normal man initially, but he, when he takes oath, when he is given bayah, he would be Yusrihullah fi layla, layla, Allah would fix him in one night. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was not fixed in one night he was pure and he was already fixed and he was sent as a pure person from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he was a prophet Imam al-Mahdi is not going to be a prophet so he was not be a pious person initially but there is another similarity that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was born orphan Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was an ordinary man he was not a leader he was not the head of a tribe. He was not the head of a city. He was not a king. He was an ordinary person. And he was not too rich as well. So same goes for Imam al-Mahdi that he would be an ordinary person, but there's an addition that he would be fixed in one night. But we find so many, so many parallels between the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the life of Imam al-Mahdi so we can assume since Imam al-Mahdi would be initially introduced to the world at the age of 40 we can assume that 
Imam al Mahdi would also give oath, uh, so take oath. Imam al Mahdi would also be given bayah at the age of 53. So there would be 13 years, approximately 13 years, before his recognition, uh, between his recognition and his uh, coming to power. So these are these 13 years and then when Imam al-Mahdi takes oath from people, he takes uh, the position of a leadership that would happen at the time, uh, at the place of Makkah al-Mukarramah. But this needs to be remind, reminded over and over again that Imam al-Mahdi would not be born in Mecca. Imam al-Mahdi would not be born in Medina. Imam al-Mahdi would be coming from the east. You have to give allegiance to Imam al-Mahdi and he would come from the east. That's for sure. There is no other narration in competition with this hadith that Imam al-Mahdi would be from east. So Imam al-Mahdi would come from east and Imam al-Mahdi would take oath near Kaaba and then Imam al-Mahdi would rule for seven years and this is also to correct the record that Imam al-Mahdi would be the one who would be leading Ghazwatul Hind and this is another parallel just like the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went from the land of Makkah the land of idol worshippers to the land of Medina and the state of Medina fought with the people of Mecca and Allah's house was liberated from the idols. Similar, similarly, we know the same things are happening that this land of Pakistan, the land of the pure, has been separated, has been detached from the bigger land of idol worshippers. So you can say that Imam al-Mahdi went from the land of idol worshippers to the pure land, to the, to, to the land where people uh, worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Pakistan ka matlab kya? La ilaha illallah. So there is this similarity. So just like Ghazwatul Badr, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led his people to fight with the people of, uh, to, to, uh, to the worshippers of idols, Similarly, Imam al-Mahdi would lead the people of La ilaha illallah to fight with the idol worshippers and that would be Ghazwatul Hind. And not only that, Ghazwatul Hind would expand into Malhamatul Kubra as the world knows as, as the clash of the civilization that would be a huge war that would happen all over the world and there would be millions of people dying uh, in, in, in this war. So we are, we are setting this uh, record straight that Imam al-Mahdi would be recognized at the age of 40 either by one person or many people, doesn't matter. Even if it is one person, that's uh, the sign coming true. So Imam al-Mahdi would be recognized at the age of 40. Imam al-Mahdi would take oath at the age of 53. Imam al-Mahdi, uh, number three, would lead Ghazwatul Hind. Imam al-Mahdi would lead uh, Malhamatul Kubra. And Imam al-Mahdi would be the one under whose leadership Khalifatullahi, Khalifatullah al-Mahdi, Khalifatullahi fil earth. He would be Allah's appointee on earth. So he would lead the whole earth into Allah's oneness and his ruling, his era would be the time when Allah's deen would enter every small and big house. There would be no, even a cottage, a big mansion or a small house or, or, or a flat or nothing would be left where at least one person would be.